Welcome to video 5 of a 6 part series of an NEC SL1100 basic installation. Before we begin programming, let's look at the voicemail scheduling call flow. An inbound analog trunk call is routed to the voicemail. The first place the system will check is program 471001 to determine which answer table the trunk is assigned to. Each trunk can be assigned to one of 16 different answer tables. You would assign trunks to different answer tables when trunks are to have separate schedules. For example, the trunks for company A are answered with the day greeting from 8 to 5, but the trunks from company B are answered with the day greeting from 9 to 6. After the system determines which answer table to use, the next place to look is program 4712. In 4712, Per answer table defined in 4710, you will define the voicemail schedules. This program is where you assign days of the week and times to a specific answering mailbox. For example, Monday through Friday from 8 to 5, you would assign routing mailbox 1, and now routing mailbox 1 will be used for the daytime greeting. If no scheduling match is found in program 4712, then the system looks at program 471103. This program is used to assign the default answering mailbox. For example, you would assign the default answering mailbox to be routing mailbox 2. Then any times not defined in program 4712 would get answered by routing mailbox 2. This would allow you to only assign the daytime patterns in program 4712. With only the day patterns assigned, any other times would fall to the default mailbox and this would become your night greeting. At this point, the voicemail would answer and play the proper greeting based on the time of day. Now that we understand the call flow, let's begin the programming. First, we are going to connect to the SL1100 and perform a download as we have done before. We're going to click the connect icon. We're going to verify the proper IP address, username and passwords are assigned, and connect. We will now complete a download as we've done before. Once the download is completed, you're going to click on close, and you're going to make sure you're in the advanced tab, and you're going to go to program 47.10.01. Per trunk, you assign an answering table. There are 16 valid answering tables. In our scenario, all trunks are going to follow the same schedule, so we will leave them at the default setting of answering table number 1. Next, we will look at program 4712 to build our schedules. This program is based on the answer tables assigned in program 4710. If we assigned any other answer tables in the previous program, we would select the proper answering table in the top right hand corner, as shown here. Seeing we only used answer table 1, we will build our schedules here. Starting with the first entry, we are going to verify that the schedule type is set to a range of days. Our other options are undefined a particular day of the week, or a date. We want to do a range of days for our scenario, which is Monday through Friday. Next to that, we want to verify that the answering mailbox type is set to a routing box to be used as one of our main greeting boxes. Once the box type is set to routing, we must assign which call routing box we are going to use. By default, call routing box 1 is assigned, and for our scenario, we will leave this alone. We will use call routing box 1 for our daytime greeting. Seeing we chose range of days at the beginning, we can skip the scheduled day of the week column and move right to the range of days. You will see by default the beginning day is Monday and the ending day is Friday in our range. So this handles our Monday through Friday. The scheduled date column can also be ignored. This is only used when the scheduled type is set to date. 
In the schedule starting time, we're going to change the default of 8.30 to be 8 o'clock to match our scenario of 8 to 5. The ending time is already assigned to 5 o'clock using a 24-hour format, so we do not have to make any changes here. Seeing our scenario calls for any times other than Monday through Friday from 8 to 5 to be answered with a night greeting, we are done here. We will next assign the default mailbox to be call routing box 2, and all times not specified in program 4712 will go to the default box. As an example, if a call comes in Friday at 6 o'clock p.m., there is no match here, so the call will be sent to the default box. Before leaving the screen, be sure to click on Apply. The default mailbox is assigned in program 471103. This program is also based on answering tables as shown here. Be sure that you are programming the proper answer table. Seeing we had all trunks set to answer table 1, we will verify that the default mailbox is set to a routing mailbox, and we will change it to be routing mailbox 2. Be sure to click on Apply before leaving this page. Now all we have to do is upload this data to the SL1100 and disconnect PC Pro when finished. Okay, now that we've programmed the system for your day mode and your night mode greetings in voicemail, we're going to show you how to record these greetings. If you remember, in the system, we used call routing box 1 for day mode and call routing box 2 for night mode. So Tim's now going to show you how to access the system administrator and record day mode and night mode greetings. Okay, recording routing mailbox greetings must be done from the system admin menu. By default, extension 101 is the only extension with voicemail system admin permissions, although in programming you can add other extensions to have this permission. But for this demonstration, we're going to stick with 101. So to access the administrator menu so that we can record a routing mailbox greeting, we're going to enter the voicemail here by pressing the voicemail soft key. When we get to the admin menu, it's going to refer to option 4 as the instruction menu message. However, that's just another word for a routing mailbox. So to do that, we're going to hit the voicemail soft key. You have no new messages. Then we're going to press the more. Press seven seven. For then the we're going to press the manager soft key. Welcome to the system administrator menu. For then we're going to press the instruction menu soft four. key. Please enter the mailbox number for the instruction menu. And then we're going to type in 001 for routing mailbox 1. To listen to the instruction menu for this mailbox, press 5. Here we can press this soft key for listen or this one for record. So we're just going to press the record soft key. Start recording at the tone and press the pound key when you are done. Thank you for calling ABC Company. If you know your party's extension, you may enter it now. Thank you. To record an instruction menu, to listen to the message, we can press the listen soft key again. Thank you for calling ABC Company. If you know your party's extension, you may enter it now. Thank you. That greeting's okay, so we could either re-record it here, delete it, or just leave it alone and keep it as is. We're going to leave this one, and now we're going to hit the back key. Welcome to the system administrator menu. And to record routing mailbox 2, we're going to hit the instruction menu again. Please enter the mailbox number for the instruction menu. This time we're going to type in 002. The instruction menu has not been recorded. To record an instruction menu, press 7. And we're going to press record, and now we're going to record our night greeting. And press the pound key when you are done. Thank you for calling ABC Company. Currently, our offices are closed. If you know your party's extension, you may enter it now to leave a message. Thank you. Record an instruction menu. Then we can listen to it once more. Thank you for calling ABC our offices are closed. If you know your party's extension, you may And our night greeting is there, and it sounds good to us. So we are finished. All we have to do at this point is simply press the speaker key to hang up. Press 